Hello guys, it's Shitgame Plays, I'm Fabio Pisco and welcome to my channel. Now, if you're asking why am I kind of recording here, absolutely no reason why. I, I mean, it's just my jam, I like to do different things, why not record in the kitchen? Ooh. So as for today's video, we have the review of the actual um, Adrenaline May driver, Inst before we had the, the May driver preview, which brought huge DirectX 11 improvements. Uh, specifically in CPU bond scenarios, so it improved quite a lot in those scenarios, okay, not overall, but even may even in some DirectX 12 we had some game improvements, but well, it brought some huge performance boosts in some scenarios, okay? And today's driver is the 22.5.2. And as I say in all my videos, 22 is the year 2022, 5 is the month May, and 2 is the revision in that same month. So the second revision of May. And well, before anything, let's start with the release notes, okay? So, as for the release notes, we have support for Sniper Elite 5, Hitman 3 Ray Tracing Update, so we now have Ray Tracing on Hitman 3, very nice, and additional Vulkan extensions, and I think that these extensions are also related to Ray Tracing in Vulkan, okay? That's what I think. Then we have Radeon Super Resolution, Additional support, RSR is now compatible with AMD Ryzen 6000 series processors with integrated graphics. So now we can actually use the, um, the RSR, the Radeon Super Resolution, on the Ryzen 6000 series mobile. So you can use them, you can use RSR in laptops, okay? Very nice. And we also have the new sharpen effect slider that allows you to fine tune the sharpness effect of RSR to your own desired settings. This was something this was something that was also implemented on the May preview drivers and it is now officially here. I asked this for I asked AMD for this in a previous video that I made about seven things that uh, AMD should do and they actually did it. Very, Very nice. nice. Now this is interesting. Yeah. AMD Privacy View a unique software powered by cutting-edge eye-tracking technology built in partnership with the team at iWare. Monitors your eye movement and reveals only the spot on the screen you are looking at while dimming the rest, keeping prying eyes away from your screen and your information safer. To learn more, check out our blog post here. So basically, it dims out the part of your monitor that you're not looking at. I mean, I don't see much use in this, but for some people, it may actually be beneficial, beneficial, whatever. Nice. And here it is, DirectX 11 optimizations for Radeon RX 6000 series. Up to 8% increase in performance in DirectX 11 based games using AMD software Adrenaline Edition 22.5.2 on the Radeon RX 6950 XT versus the previous software driver 22.5.1. And okay, this was not only for the 6950 XT, so it was for all the RX 6000 series, okay? And we have way, way bigger performance than that in some CPU bond scenarios, okay? In DirectX 11 games, the difference is quite a lot. You can watch this video passing right now on the screen that I made of the May preview drivers, where you can see the huge performance difference in CPU bond scenarios in Days Gone and in God of War. So it made a lot, and I repeat, a lot of difference. Check it out. AMD Smart Access Memory Optimizations for Death Stranding and Watch Dogs Legion. Up to 10% increase in performance with the new SAM optimizations in Death Stranding 1440p very high settings and up to 13% in performance with new SAM optimizations in Watch Dog Legion using AMD Software Adrenaline Edition 22.5.2 on the Radeon 6950 XT blah 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 blah. So up to 12% with a 6750 XT and up to 6% with um, with a 6650 XT, okay? This in Death Stranding and Watch Dogs Legion. As for the known issues, we still have some known issues uh, and the first one is actually performance drop may be experienced while playing Fortnite with multi-threaded rendering and DirectX 11 API on some AMD graphics products such as the Radeon RX 6900 XT graphics. Basically, this is a problem that has been happening for quite some time, and it seems like the RX 6900 XT um, are the GPUs in the 6000 series that actually have more problems. I tested the 6950 XT and it was completely fine, but it seems that the 6900 XT has some problems 
God knows why, okay? Now, stuttering may be experienced while playing Call of Duty Warzone on, on the Caldera map with some AMD graphics products such as the Raiden RX 6900 XT graphics, once again, the 6900 XT. Higher than expected CPU usage when instant replay is enabled on some AMD graphics products such as the 6900 XT, once again. If you have a 6900 XT, Amen. GPU utilization may be stuck at 100% in Raiden performance metrics after closing games on some AMD graphics products such as the Raiden 570. And this is a problem that, that has been occurring for quite some time, for months, I would say, and it, it is still not fixed. AMD, fix this ASAP. It's, it's a really annoying thing. Display may flicker black during video playback plus gameplay on some AMD graphics products such as the Raiden RX 6700 XT. So in some scenarios this was fixed before, but it seems that it wasn't fixed for all users and that's why it is here once again. Using Radeon Super Resolution on 2560 per 1600 resolution displays may produce a system hang. A temporary workaround is to set the display scaling mode to full panel. Also a thing that wasn't fixed since the 22.3.1 drivers. Enhanced Sync is a meme and Radeon performance metrics and logging features are actually becoming a meme as well because it has been like six, five or six months since we have this on the... Um, these on the known issues, so the Raiden performance metrics and logging features may intermittently report extremely high and incorrect mem memory clock values and it is still here after all this time, so it should be fixed. It is, it is becoming the second meme, like the enhanced thing. Anyway, apart from, from these, uh, these drivers also bring new things, like for example, um, they bring the um, new installation background, they finally have the, they finally added the shortcut on Windows 11, so when you right click on your desktop in Windows 11, you finally have the shortcut to the AMD Adrenaline software, which is a great thing to have, finally, after all this time, we have the shortcut back, instead of needing to go to the more options and then uh, AMD Adrenaline settings, finally we have, we have it right there where it should be from the beginning, okay? So, it's pretty nice, we have all new things, um, we have the sharpen effect on RSR, that I told you before, um, and in terms of performance, I, I mean, everything went well, everything went well, so no black screens, no blue screens, overclocking seems stable for me, with the same exact settings, and everything is running fine, it's running fine. So guys, that's it. There's not much more to say. Thanks a lot. Don't forget to hit like, subscribe and share this video because that really helps a lot. Don't forget to leave your comment in the comment section because that's very important for the YouTube algorithm and for us as gamers and users to actually know if the others have problems or not. Uh, and if we or the others have problems, how we can fix them, okay? That's very important. Once again, thanks a lot for watching and as usual, let's go to the, um, to the part with the side-by-side -side comparisons, this time with the May preview drivers versus the 22.5.2 to see if they actually improve the bit in terms of performance as well. See you in the next video, guys.
Corporal St. John. Let him in. <laughs> <laughs> 